Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of December 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But you guys know, you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading. You can find all that information in the description box. Alright, let's see. Sagittarius, what is going on? We have cycles. Okay. So cycles, it could be that you you may be going in and out of cycles um, with this person here. Maybe this person is going in and out of particular cycles, all right, in relation to your connection. So let's see what is going on with this. Because um, it feels like, you know, maybe certain things have repeated themselves over and over again in the past. But this definitely could be that a cycle is breaking. We'll see. So Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of December. All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Queen of Swords crossed by the Five of Cups. All right, give me a sec. Uh, recent past, the King of Swords, and near future, the Eight of Swords. All right, so we do have a lot of swords showing up, so some of you might be dealing with an air sign, or maybe one of you has strong air in their chart. Um, I feel like there's somebody is really wanting to either set some boundaries or be more, um, more cutting, more sharp, standing more in their power, basically. But I feel like the challenge is possibly guilt for some of them. Um, or it could be you, okay? Roles can be reversed regardless. Either there is some pessimism, a little bit of holding on to the past, and some guilt. And it could be that all of these energies are kind of combining. And that's what is keeping this person, whether it be you or them, from fully, like, cutting something out or from, you know, just really demanding their own respect or setting some kind of, setting some kind of boundaries here. Um, with the King of Swords, though, being here in the recent past, I feel like somebody was in that energy. So maybe it was the other person who was in this energy, or maybe it's the same person who's struggling now was in this energy for some time. But then, you know, either guilt or something from the past kind of got to them. And I do feel like that's, you know, it's still, that energy is still kind of lingering here with this Eight of Swords in the near future. Um, just a lot of overthinking, a lot of overanalyzing, but we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. So for you, we have the Magician. For them, the Empress. More for you is the Emperor. Wow, well, you're really standing in your power here. Um, more for them is the Hermit. And potential outcome here, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, which is um, pretty positive. <laughs> Um, especially considering that Eight of Swords here. So yeah, we're going to clarify and see what's happening. Um, but I definitely see you manifesting basically just your own life and what it is that you want to do. I feel like you're, um, I mean, the Magician and the Emperor, it could be very, very positive, but, but for some of you, okay, not all of you, we'll see when we clarify anyway, um, it could be a little bit of too much control because it's very, very strong, very, very strong, very powerful. And I feel like what's happening is that it's like you're being given this power, like, or you're discovering this power within yourself. And it's all a matter of how you use it. Um, you can definitely use this in a very positive and powerful way. But for some of you, it might be easy to overuse this power and it might not lead to the best of results okay so just be careful with the power that you're holding right now use it wisely is the message i'm getting um for them they have the empress and the hermit all right so first of all let me just say that both you and this person both cards for each of you are major arcana cards like you have two major arcana cards they have two major arcana cards in their energy so these are really really big and strong energies for the both of you and i feel like now 
that cycles card is also representing the eclipse that we um, that we had recently, and I feel like that's actually leading up to major transformations or just major um, energies having to be faced, basically. Um, they're definitely learning a lot of lessons here. They're definitely... I feel like they're seeing a lot within their own self here. There's a lot that's coming to their awareness that they're seeing, which might be uncomfortable. It, I mean, look at this hermit here. He's like looking at this snake. Almost like something is being revealed to them, but it's being revealed through that soul searching. And something that is a little bit um, intimidating or a little bit threatening to their own self. So it could possibly be that they are discovering something about somebody else that may have been affecting this or something about their own self that they don't really like. But that's the first step in actually making a change, right? And then we have the Ace of Pentacles for the potential outcome, which is a new path. So let's clarify. Let's see that King of Swords with the Five of Cups. Alright, the Ten of Pentacles, Justice, ooh, and the Eight of Pentacles. Alright, okay, so definitely for some of them, if there's a third party here, because um, I do see this being more of your person's energy than yours, but of course it could be the other way around, you know, take the main energy as it resonates for you, okay, it could be either you or them. Um, if there's a third party here, I feel like somebody is really focusing on... Um, bringing balance or making a very solid decision based on that, all right? Because with the Ten of Pentacles, this is a very serious commitment. Um, very often times it is a marriage, okay? And then justice being right under that um, could definitely be talking even about divorce and there just being a lot of focus on that, okay? Doesn't have to be that. Um, for others of you, it could definitely be that this is representing your connection, right? That there is a high level of commitment or a sense of that, right? Between the two of you, like a very um, strong connection or a potential for this to have been or to be marriage material. And again, it feels like there's major, major decisions being made or somebody focusing on making a decision or having to make a decision, having to be a lot more firm about this decision that they're making, but there's some guilt that's, that's playing out here, which is um, blocking that. Even though, as I said, I feel like this person or the other person was very determined in the past. Uh, let's see the magician of your energy. And again, I mean, this could be you, right? What I was just saying. All right, so for the Magician, we have the Two of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Interesting. I feel like there's this um, sense of... Okay, this is really weird the way it's coming in, but it's like you having waited, but ultimately... Um, having been either rejected or feeling abandoned or just feeling at a loss in some way, I feel like that's what's actually powering you at the moment. Um, something about that got you more in touch with your with your own emotions, and I feel like even it's like you having felt that pain or having felt some sort of an abandonment that forced you to find your emotional stability and I feel like that's what's powering you now and that's why you it's like you have these tools now to manifest and to fully be in control of your of what's going on with you huh interesting let's see the other And it does come in like you having um, love for this person. The Ace of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Swords. 
Yeah, so I don't really feel like you're misusing this power. Um, you are very powerful at the moment, let me just tell you that. I do feel like you're in this position to really manifest um, love and a lot of self-love as well. Um, but I also feel like you're you're moving away from, from love, you, but not in the bad sense. It's like you are moving away from a love that was not not ready yet. You're moving away from a love that was unstable, possibly in and out, like, you know, possibly going through cycles. Let's see for them. Let's see this Empress. Why is this Empress here? Ooh, the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Wow, all right. Um, I feel like this Empress is actually representing you because you are so strong at the moment, you are so in your power, and that you are just all over this person's energy here. Um, they're definitely feeling an ending here. They're feeling a very, very strong ending that is actually very um, painful, and it's A lot of swords for this person again definitely I feel like there's a lot of air energy so do let me know if you're dealing with an air sign I would be interested to know or if there's just a lot of um, air in somebody's chart here um, more particularly for them this person is um, the eight of swords showing up again see that's that's them yeah, they're in their they're in their head a lot. They're feeling like they don't know how to go back to that King of Swords, which they've been in that King of Swords energy before in the past. As I said, they were determined. They're struggling for how to get back to that. And I do though I do feel like this ending is actually pushing them in that direction like it's it's forcing them to nurture themselves more to be more um productive. But it's like they're they're still in their head about it. They're still in their head about it, but there's this really strong desire to go back to that King of Swords energy. And that could be the cycle, you know, going back and forth between um, being determined, taking action, and then allowing the past or, so, or something from the past or guilt or, you know, pessimism to get in the way. Let's see the hermit. All right, we have the seven of wands, the four of wands, and give me one sec. And the three of wands. All right, so strong fire showing up as well. Okay, definitely could be dealing with another fire sign here. Um, yeah, and we also have Virgo showing up. So, yeah, this person is doing a lot of I feel like they're finding out what it is that has been blocking them, what it is that has been blocking them from having the commitment that they want. What is it that, why do they keep procrastinating? Why is it that there's this waiting? Why is it that they're taking some action? It feel, because to them, it feels like they've been fighting for this, right? Putting up some kind of a struggle, putting up some kind of a fight for this, and then they just end up being in this position of like, okay, where's the results now? Like, now what? Um... I still, I'm still waiting, like I, I still don't have what I want. And I feel like that is what, that is what they are figuring out here. That is what they are seeing in themselves that they don't like. Like, what is it? And I feel like it is their own resistance, right? What is it that has been blocking them, basically? Their own resistance to this. Which, for each of them, it's going to be for, um, for different reasons. All right, let's see that Eight of Swords for the near future. Ooh, all right, the Nine of Cups, the Tower, and the Six of Cups, yeah. So there's, um, <laughs> it's a big thing that's coming up here um, for them. And I'm not surprised, as I said, with all these major Arcana cards being in, both in your and their energies. 
there's a huge tower that is coming up for them to kind of break them out of this um, mental overanalyzing, feeling trapped kind of an energy. And what this is going to show them, whatever this is that's going to happen, right? It's, I feel like it's getting them out of their comfort zone here with that nine of cups and the six of cups. It's like understanding this dynamic between the, um, the comfort zone and the, the true soul connection. For some of them, this could even be an addiction. This whole thing that we've been talking about for just a few of them, all right, it could definitely be an addiction. And that could be the cycle. Um, going in and out of being sober or relapses. And it's like understanding that, you know, th whatever that is that has been giving them some kind of pleasure or, um, and the pleasure could, could be definitely superficial here, that needs to be destroyed in order to have that, that six of cups, that reconciliation with you. So let's see the Ace of Pentacles for the potential outcome here. The Five of Wands. Ooh, the Queen of Cups and the Devil. Okay, yeah, so if there's an addiction, okay, it's showing up here again. Um, definitely, I, I'm seeing this as being a new path opening up here. All right, a new path. I do feel like it is going to be a challenge, right? But this is definitely somebody following their heart, following their intuition, be just being more in tune with their own self, following this path here. However, there is a little bit of a precaution here, right? Because the devil's energy, I feel like it's, it's still here. It's still here. But what I'm getting is that it's okay. It, it, it can't be completely gone just from one day to the next. I feel like it's an ongoing process and this is just um, a situation where in order to keep that devil's energy, whatever is toxic here, in check, right, There, someone is going to have to be putting up a continuous fight for a while. And I feel like that's the new path though, like actually fighting against that devil. And that's why we have the Queen of Cups here, right, showing that love, purity, emotions, Following those emotions, intuition is key here. So that new path is opening up where somebody is fighting against that um, energy, that blockage, that comfort zone, that whatever could be pleasure, lust, it could be whatever, um, whatever that was from the past or like a pattern that it has been repeating itself. Somebody is fighting against that and opening up a new type of a cycle, like a new, a new way of, of being. All right, Sandy, let's see if this resonated. I know a little message for you. All right, and we have solitude, and I did have one more sticking out here. Um, in silence, peace prevails. Yeah, so I feel like this is really about this person being in this hermit mode. Um, so if this person is keeping their distance at the moment or just seems a little bit distant in whatever way, know that it's it's healing, all right? Um, this is how they're finding their peace. They're healing, basically. And the second card we have is cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life forces. So I do feel like there is some kind of a cleansing that is happening here, all right, with this cycle that is happening at the moment um and this d definitely does talk about um this purification it's detoxing so again that could either be from you know fears negative thoughts pessimism as we saw in the beginning here with that five of cups addictions all right it encompasses basically all of that so yeah that's what i got for you sagittarius i thank you so much for watching and much love